Alright, Ryan's choice. Off Dookie. Who names their album Poop? <laughs> Longview. Mostly bass song, right? Yeah, but we're gonna do the bass line on the guitar too, so while you're, rather than twiddling your thumbs just for a bit, See what I did there. You can play along with the song too. That's super fun. I know Monday we should do the music theory thing, but I was thinking that perhaps maybe one out of seven videos for the next like 50 weeks shouldn't be. <laughs> That's too much. Uh, it's a long topic. It can, it can go on forever and ever. So don't worry. We're, I think, just going to do it every other week. And there's going to be plenty to chew on anyways. So this should be a super fun time. And you know what they say. Don't say no to a good time. Here we go. Detune your guitar. All the strings go down one half step. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put the link in the description probably. But if I don't, just search my name and, and detune. D-E tune. So we have E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat, instead of the regular Eddie 8 dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. All right, here we go. Open A string, hammer on to seven. Then, think power chord. You're gonna play D9, seven, six. That's the first thing. It's a complicated bass line. This is for you, Kara, in Canada, on bass. Um, but there's only four things. We're one quarter done. Open seven hammer on the A string. D9, seven, six. The second thing is pull off from seven to five on the A string. And now we're gonna play, think power chord again. D, seven, six, back to A5. So that one is. The third one is almost the same as the first one, but instead of open hammer on to seven, it's gonna be nine pull off to seven on the A string with the same top end. So nine, seven, six. The fourth one is the coolest thing. You're gonna want to hammer on from seven to nine on the G string and also strum the open D string. Like that. And then the G string goes seven, six, seven. If you don't want to do that hammer on, that's okay. Just go nine, seven, six, seven. But here it is. And now the whole thing nice and slow. And now the whole thing nice and fast. There, I did it. <laughs> now the whole thing nice and fast. And that takes care of the verse. Break. The turnaround going into the chorus is a little unusual as turnarounds and Apple turnovers go. It's going to be a D power chord. So fifth fret of the A string. It's really a C sharp, right? But there's no piano players in the room. So we can call it D. We know what we mean. So that's it. Downs and up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. But it's kind of in triplets. So you're thinking accenting every third one. And then the chorus, also ultra fun and very simple. We're gonna do B power chord, seventh fret of the E string, and the pointer finger is gonna go off and on, so like this. Down to A, up to E, on the, shouting over myself, on the seventh fret of the A string, same deal with the pointer finger. So, two, three, four, da -da 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 -da. Hang on the A, and then you go power chord on the sixth fret, slide up to the seventh fret, but places where it can be argued Green Day has a pretty good sense of humor. You hear this, that note happens. So he's doing the whole root five major bar chord, six, eight, eight, eight. Won't do party in the county jail right now. Okay. So chorus. Bass does its cool thing, which is what I'll show you next. 
next. All right, so you've just slid up with either the bar chord or the power chord. Either way, you're gonna pluck the G string on the fret that it's on, which is the ninth fret, and then D7, hammer on to nine, then G9, then D9. So, and then, hearkening the cool part, the fourth part of the cool verse, we're gonna go D open and G7, six, four, two. Now there's all this real estate tra to traverse going back up to the next bass noodly dupe, but that's okay because the first note of the bass noodly dupe, say that 10 times fast, is the open A string hammer on to seven, so you have time thusly. don't want to go through all that, you can play D, uh, G7, G6, D9, and D7, going back into it, that works too. And then you play the verse again, and then you turn around into the chorus, and then the chorus turns into the bridge, which is super, super simple. Alright, so turn around into the chorus, chorus, there, now we play E, D, and that's it for the bridge. Seventh fret and fifth frets of the A string, power chords. Smoking my hands, but back into a chorus. that's different is that the turnaround into the last chorus is twice, along, twice as long as the other turnaround. So, chorus. And of course, we can't be complete without doing the really cool solo at the end. Banana pudding! G9, B9, B10, B12, E12. Probably hammer on from that B9 to 10. And then G9, B9. But strum both those strings when you do that and just bring your little 9-9 nine nine down to 7-7. Seven seven. Back and forth. By Green Day, both the bass and the guitar parts for you to do for fun when you're jamming alone or with others or at a campfire. Totally works acoustic too. Fun stuff. Thank you for obliging my choice and thank you for being here. And I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>